Tucker with my crazy fit, Bonnie the dog, and we are doing a resistance band workout for shoulders. Four exercises, all sitting right here on the Pilates mat. Here we go. I'm gonna start by sitting right in the center of the band. So equal length on each side, sitting down to anchor the band. And I'm gonna grab the opposite side. Band will be coming out the top of the hand, the thumb side. Top arm kind of glued onto the side here and elbow's just gonna hinge to come out. Yeah, get a comfy spot, Bonnie the dog. So shoulder staying in place and just hinging out. Want tension on the band from the very beginning, but most important is just full range of motion. Going as far as I can. Going for about 10 here. Five. Just warming up. Next exercise, we'll get into a little more resistance. Try to fatigue the muscle a little more. Get some good shoulder growth. Two more. And bring it all the way back, not releasing while it's taut. So grabbing the other side, band's coming up the thumb, tension from the beginning, and rotating out. I'm sitting up straight here, belly staying tight. A little bit of energy on the back of the shoulders and in the back of the armpit, keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. So I'm not scrunching up here. Sitting up straight, shoulders down. You can feel the upper back muscles working to keep the shoulders back. And of course, all the work here in the rear deltoid with this movement. Four more. Last one, we're gonna do one more set and then move to the next exercise. And gently back. No need to rest. Band coming up, thumb side. Top of the arm glued onto the side and rotating the hand out. And shoulders not, or elbows not moving, tied right in there. Four. Five. Oh, Bonnie's gonna take a nap. Bonnie likes to do Pilates with me. She does dog lotties, but she can't do resistance band exercises because she doesn't have fingers. No grippers. Last one. And gently down, not letting go. Until it's loose. And last one, here we go. Out. Exhaling out, inhaling back in. Full range of motion. Five more. Last one. I feel like I have greater range of motion in my, my right side than my left for whatever reason. All right, here we go. We'll roll the shoulders out for a moment. Still sitting up straight, belly's tight. Again, grabbing the opposite band, or the band on the opposite side. This time, the band's coming out the bottom of my hand. So thumb down, about a 90 degree angle with the elbow here. Still sitting up straight, and just bringing the band up. So I'm keeping the same angle with the elbow and just bringing it up, working the rear deltoid and the top of the shoulder. For this time, going close to failure. That means I can't do another rep without sacrificing form. Going close to failure, and I want that to be anywhere from the 10 to 20 range. Exhaling up, inhaling down. Fourteen, two more. 
and not letting go from here, bringing it down, releasing the tension, and then letting go. Grabbing the other side. Band's coming out the bottom of the hand. Elbow at 90 degrees. And coming up. So I did 16 on the first set. Gonna make sure to do 16 on this side. And then we're gonna jump right into some more sets, going back and forth. About five reps. Back forth three times. Three sets each side of five reps. Tension from the very start of this movement all the way up. 10, six more. Real slow down, flexing up, real slow down, keeping the band from snapping, getting a lot of muscle activation, both as it comes up and on the decentric portion. Two more. And slowly down, jumping right in the other side. Now we're going five, five here, five here. And we're gonna go back and forth for a while, as long as we can keep doing it. As long as I can keep getting three to five reps, four to five, we're gonna continue with that. Three, two more, real slow. And the other side. Tension from the start, exhaling up. Belly still tight, sitting up straight, not leaning over into the exercise. Still feeling the energy in the upper back, the lats, keeping shoulders down and back, away from the ears, not scrunching up. Two more. Slowly down, jumping back over. Three, four, five, and down. Still going. Belly's tight, not hunching over. Shoulders down, exhale up. Slowly down, last set. Exhale up. Keep in the same angle with the elbow. Just working the rear top of the shoulder. Now, so if I was having trouble sitting on the ground, I could also sit on a chair or an exercise ball or even on my knees. Slowly down, last one. Anyway, anchoring the band underneath is what we're going for here. Three. Last one. Slowly down. And let's roll the shoulders out. Next exercise, be an overhead shoulder press. So I'll be grabbing the band in both hands, pressing straight up. Importance here is keeping the belly tight, shoulders are back. As the arms come up, the shoulders will naturally rise up, so I'm not up here I'm trying to keep my shoulders down, allowing them to naturally come up as the arms go overhead and back down. So I'm gripping it like this. Could also grip it here. This is kind of a whatever feels comfortable exercise. Also could play with the different angles that the elbows are at, whether in front or back farther. Equal tension on each side. And I want tension from the very beginning so they're not, not floppy down here at the bottom. Tension from the bottom, sitting up straight, inhale, exhale to extend up and down. And again, going to failure here. So that's the point where I can't do another repetition without sacrificing form without jerking or leveraging in some way and that's going to be anywhere in the 10 to 20 rep range 
four, five, If I wanted more resistance on this, I could choke up on the band more. Or use different thicknesses of band. Exhale, inhale down, exhale up. Three more. get this last one and slowly down not letting go of the band slowly down and now resting for five seconds and doing five more we'll repeat that three times here we go exhale up inhale down four Five, slowly down, rest for five seconds. Those are getting difficult. If I get to the point where I can't do four or five reps, then we'll move to the next exercise. Inhale, exhale up. Two more. All the way up, slowly down, resisting that resistance band from snapping. One more set. Here we go. Let's see if we can do five. Inhale, exhale. Ooh, two more. Slowly down. Last one. Not gonna go. Let's move into the last exercise. This time, I'll move sideways and extend the legs. And this will be a high row. So generally, a rowing motion, often for the back. I'm gonna bring the hands up higher to about shoulder height. Get those rear delts a little more importance here still keeping the belly tight shoulders back I want equal distance on the band on both sides this time it's coming out the thumb side sitting up straight inhale exhale bringing the it up towards the shoulders and back to start keeping the back straight and again exhale inhale back to start Elbows are flaring out a little bit. So I'm not keeping the elbows down at the sides. They're coming up as the band comes up. All the way back, squeezing the scapula, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And we're going to the same method here. We're going to failure, following it up with three sets of five. Go for five more. Three, two more. Keeping the head straight, not bending over here. Keeping that belly tight. Last one. Slowly back, drop it, five seconds. And back. Band equal distance on each side, sitting up straight, shoulders down away from the ears, tension on the band from the start. Exhale, bringing it up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, slowly back, going for five reps. Like the sun made a little bit of an appearance for me. Ooh, really feeling that in the back of the shoulders. Five seconds, we have two more sets. 
it's springtime here, so we're still not quite sure if we're gonna get sun or rain. But I thought I'd get an outside workout in while I could. Sitting up straight, exhale up. Elbows coming out. Real slow back. Three, two more. Ooh, last one. Give the shoulders a little roll. You can really feel it in the rear shoulder, rear delt. Sitting up straight, tension on the band, five reps. Squeezing the shoulder blades and back to start. Throughout a lot of my Pilates videos, you'll see me doing scapular isolation movements. Same thing we're trying to accomplish here. Good starting position and squeezing the shoulder blades and retracting back. Two more. Last one, squeeze slowly back. Oh, let's stretch that out for a moment. Left hand grabs the outside of the right foot, keeping this arm nice and relaxed, pressing down on the right foot like I'm pressing on a gas pedal, opening up this shoulder, side lat, upper back area. And right arm outside of the left foot and pressing down on the left foot. Well, if you enjoyed this workout, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the videos. If you're really digging this resistance band thing, I'll link my resistance band playlist. Hopefully Bonnie the dog will join us for the next Pilates session and I will see you at the next workout.